is going on guys it's here and here and we're back playing some more life in the woods too that's right guys so guys i've been doing a little bit of work you guys want to check it out all right let's go dum -dum -dum -dum. <laughs> so you guys remember i had the little uh message board of stuff that we were all gonna do um and i moved it i moved it well i kind of just built like a little house for it so if we step on in boom, 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 there you go so here's this house is literally just made for this um i'm probably gonna add a little bit of furniture in here just to make it look like it's a house for something right um but yeah so for those of you that don't know and this is first time watching laugh in the woods uh we got this little um, uh, board of stuff that we're gonna do and subscriber build requests so oracle said he wanted to do a steampunk inventors workshop so oracle we're gonna make you uh, one of those guys uh onyx dark wanted to build uh or wanted me to build a market wild wild west style uh with brewery so yeah and in the last episode uh blaze lord requested that we do another castle which i've never done before so that one should be pretty interesting uh and then we got a couple other things um like the mod pack update you guys have requested an update for the mod pack um so that might come out episode 40 that's when we scheduled it but i might do it episode 35 so just be on the lookout for that um and yeah, so aside from all this, um, we got this little thing up here and uh, it's empty. Oh, 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 jeebus. Oh, jeebus, we're breaking shit. <laughs> all right, so this, this guys, this has to be the best update to the pack today. Well, not really today, but it's pretty exciting, I'm gonna say. So what what's this update? Can you guys guess? Anybody? Anybody? We talked about it. We talked about it. <laughs> yes, guys. We did do it. So I think that's how you spell it. Um, so immersive engineering is now on the pack. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Ah, there you are. Bam. <laughs> so we got it, guys. Oh, yeah. It just came out today, actually. So, um, decided that i was gonna do a little bit of um some stuff i'm gonna turn my shaders off for whatever reason today shaders is not loving me he's not giving me love so uh, it's maybe it's because i was rendering and all kinds of stuff so i don't know but um hopefully you guys don't mind playing without shaders today but we're gonna be playing with some immersive engineering so i think that should be pretty exciting um now last episode you guys saw me get started with my agricraft stuff um i'm playing around with it um, Onyx Start gave me some really good tips as far as don't breed these um, if they're not fully grown because you're most likely going to get weeds, which is true. Um, and then we've lost a couple of plants because, uh, yeah, they sucked. <laughs> but aside from that, this has been pretty fun. Um, I'm definitely going to do some more of this crossbreeding stuff on camera. Um, for now, I just want I'm working on getting the 10, 10, 10 stuff um, for all my regular crops um, so I can build hamburgers and uh, supreme pizzas and all that fun stuff. But that's not the cool part guys so this right here my friends is what we're gonna get started with so i think the first thing we're gonna need is some where, where do you, this guy right here maybe uh so book and a lever um so let's just head on back to our little uh hobbit hole yes our hobbit hole um okay so if i was a book where would i be book 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 um i know i have a bajillion books Matter of fun <laughs> uh, in here, probably. Yes, there we go. All right, so we need that, and then what else do we need? Uh, a stick and a piece of cobble, and then we'll do this like so. We should be able to get a lever. Pop that guy there. This guy there, and we got ourselves the first of many awesome things that is immersive engineering. All right, so let's check it out. So, overview and resource power, wires, generators, tools, machines. Cool. All right, so I guess this, maybe? Introduction? No. Ain't nobody need no introduction. The engineer's hammer is the most important tool at your disposal. It will be used to form multi blocks like the coke oven, blast furnace, configuration like the wooden post. Oh, okay. So, iron string and bamboo sticks, or just sticks in general. Okay, so let's build one of these guys, because we can do that. Two of those, uh, two iron, and a piece of string. Easy enough. 
And, uh, where are you, where are you, where are you, where are you? Is it this guy? Yeah, I think it's this guy. All right, so we got ourselves our first little hammer. Um, now, aside from that, I think the, yeah, well, okay, so we'll just do that. Transformers, relays, wires. Um, now, the reason why we added immersive engineering is we have zero tech in this pack, right? Um, the closest thing to tech is probably going to be uh, Batania, which is magic, but um, yeah, so that's probably it. Um, copper wires, electrum wires, electrum? What? How you do? High voltage, steel, aluminum, industrial, hemp. Ooh. All right, so I'm, I'm I've seen <laughs> Darwell play with it before, but I don't know how to get started on any of this stuff. So I guess the very first thing, um, let's do, let's see, tools and machinery, conveyor belts. So that that gives us some conveyor belts. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? External heaters. I think this heats up. Um, what's it called? Furnaces. So that would be pretty cool. It's kind of like the um, steam, black beard steam, whatever it's called. Um, we had that before. Ooh, mining drill. We're gonna have to build one of these. We're gonna build all this stuff, guys. So don't don't worry. I'm just playing around with it because I want to show you guys um, all the cool stuff that we can build. Revolver. I have no clue why you would want a revolver besides the fact that it has the most amazing model <laughs> ever. Um, holy chetos, look at this. A light engineering block, some steel fences, steel scaffolding. So I'm guessing we're going to need a lot of steel, guys. A lot. Lot and lot. And hoppers and steel and a more hopper. So a crusher and an excavator. What? Lies. Excavator is one of the pinnacles of modern engineering. It's able to dig up minerals and veins. Accessible. I know. In return, however, the excavator is a complex structure which requires 4,000 RF per tick in order to operate. Holy chatos. <laughs> blocks and blocks and blocks of steel. Oh, yeah. Better than door. The structure is compromised by the two pieces. The engine is shown. Oh, this is the actual. Holy crap, that's crazy. It takes up ores and yields, fine, slowly decreasing. The vein of minerals can last for 144 days and stay in digging. That's crazy. Okay, so we're definitely going to do that. Um, all right, so I guess the first thing we want to do is probably get ourselves um, a Coke oven and some industrial hemp. Because um, Coke oven is going to allow us to get, uh, so we need clay, bricks, and some sandstone. Clay, bricks, and sandstone. All right, so let's see how much clay... Okay, so I have two stacks, which is a good, good amount. And then we got how much clay do we got? All right. And then how much sandstone do we got? I don't know, but we can make some sandstone, right? All right. So I think uh, where where you be? There you are. So if it's three by three by three, that's twelve. No, really? That's it? That's all we need. Hold on, one, two, not twelve. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> Learn to do math, buddy. So there's three. Hold on, let's, let's. can you um, remove the layers? There you go. Okay, so that's nine by nine, which is eighteen, twenty-seven. All right. So we don't know our math, guys. We don't know our math. All right. Um, what is you? Okay, so we might need a lot more of this stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. shit. Wait, does this have silk touch? No, it doesn't. Damn it. Damn it to hell. All right, let me see if I have my tools. All right, I'm sorry, guys. Um, let me <laughs> let me get up the stuff that we need, and then um, I'll meet you guys back at a little base, all right? Catch you in a few. All right, so I kind of decided that we're going to do the blast oven too, because um, it's not that hard. It's just some nether brick, some bricks, and some blaze powder. 
So I'm just cooking up all of the stuff that we need. And once I get everything, um, then I'll craft up the blocks we need and then we'll go find a little spot for it. Alright, so give me a couple of seconds while I do that and I'll meet you guys over there. Alright, catch in the view. Alright, so I think we're ready to go. We should have everything we need. Um, and then now the only thing we need to do is just figure out where we want to place these little guys. So we got two of them guys. Uh, we have our blast furnace and our coke oven. So, um, both of these are going to get their own little area. So what I'm thinking is off in this direction, because we're going to have a tree farm and stuff over there, um, we could just go ahead and set it up. Oh, hello there, little tree. <laughs> All right. So I think we're going to do it like right here in this area. Let me just grab up this little friend uh, and make a mess. All right. And then we just collect up all this nice little shrubberies. And this should give us a nice little clean area to work with. And I'll just toss all that shit in there. And we'll figure it out later. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. Oh, man. Um, all right, so toss that in there. I think we're good. Then I pick everything up. Yeah, all right. And we should be good to go. Shut up, shoot. All right. Ooh, rainbow. All right. Uh, I think we're all done. Let's just throw that in there. This in there. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need this. That can go in there. All right. So I think we're good. So I'm gonna put this away. And now we get to the fun part. All right. So I think we'll just set it up over here because we're like uh. Yeah, pretty sure you could set up anywhere. I know, but then I gotta build little houses for these. So for now, we'll set it up like a so. And I might build a couple of these. Um, that's three by three by three, right? Yeah, I think that's it. And then do we have to whack you? Bam! Well, well, well. So you don't left click it, you right click it. That's so sick. Oh, we can't put coal in there? What do you mean we can't put no coal in there? What do we put in there? Alright, so what are you? Hold on. Sir? Sir, what are you? Sir? <laughs> Alright, so it's not working. Um, Alright, so I think we gotta put... Wait, which one was that? That was our coke oven? Okay, so that one just gets coal, and then that should turn it... Do I have coal on me? No, but... But, but, but... Uh, let's go to our agri-craft. No. Our town. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit, we're gonna we're gonna starve. Oh man. Why you do this to me? Alright. So let me eat up some foods right quick. Um now I think I think I actually accidentally updated the warp book, so now anytime you warp it takes um food out of your um hunger. Which I guess balances itself out, but eh, whatever. Do I not have any coal? I don't know. I don't have any coal here. Why I have no coal? All right, let's go back. We should have some coal up in here. Um, where are you at, coal? Where are you at? Oh, right here. Okay, so let's just give me a stack. I'll just take two stacks. Two stacks is good. And then I gotta make a little page for this, so then that way we can just. TP on over there. All right, so let's head on back. I think I actually have some pages. Uh, no, those are maps. That would be food. But I don't have any blank. Whatever. We'll figure it out. I'll make some blank warp pages. Because then it's going to be super easy just to go on there and do this. Like so. All right, cool. So now we got our little coal going in there, and that's going to be cooking up all nice and cookity. And then, um, yeah, that'll get us some oil, creosote oil and some coal coke. So that should be pretty cool. And then the next thing on our list is to make ourselves a little blast furnace. All right, so blast furnace can go right next to it. So we'll just leave three blocks. I'll just do like so. Now this does make it super easy that you don't have to like 
add lava in the center or anything like that. Because I know Thumbcraft has uh, the old ovens where <laughs> you'd have to add all kinds of shenanigans to it. Alright, so this is going to get us iron. Um, okay. Wait, can you take charcoal? Please say yes. You can. Alright, cool. Um, now, do I have any in here? I have one piece. Well, we can leave you cooking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So now we got our first step to making everything we need. Um, trying to think if I should make more of them. Wow, this takes a long time. <laughs> How long do you take? Can we speed you along? I don't think we can. I think this is this is the part where it gets grindy right here. Um, all right. So I guess what I can do is like build a workshop here. Eh? We can start a workshop. What do you guys think? Because I'm just gonna go and let me see if we have. I'll go home um, and then I'll grab up some war pages. I think I have war pages somewhere. Not the best time to go look for them, but hey, why not, right? Either way, I can make some. Okay, check it out. Check it out. This is how we do it. Like this. And I think you just plop that. And then... Oh, we'll just make five of them. Oh, but I'm babies. Alright, pop this friend back in there. And then... Uh, what else did we say we needed? Iron. Yeah, so... Let me grab a stack of that. And then... Is that it? I think that might be it. Okay, so let me head on back. Uh, town? Yes, town. And then we'll go over here. Make ourselves a little warp page, so that way we can just come and plop ourselves over here whenever we need steel or creosote oil or any of the other stuff. So we just go like that. Um, and then, I don't know where the house would be, but fuck it. We'll just say it's right here. Mm -hmm. Like this. Yeah, bam. And then this will be called, um, hi. Actually, no. No. <laughs> I'm all for it. Oh, no. I. Rice. Furnace. That's too long, huh? Yeah. Furnace. There you go. And now we right click this little friend and we plop them all down in there. Alright, so now when we right click, boom. So we go to town, we get some stuff, then we go to our furnaces. Perfect. Perfect. And we got our first piece of steel. How amazing is that? Alright, so let's see what else we can do. So treated wood requires some buckets of what? Creosote oil. Which we don't have yet, I don't think. Oh, we, we have one bucket. So that's good. Okay, so we have one bucket of creosote oil. Um, I think this is... I don't know what you use that for, actually. <laughs> um, now let's see here. Blocks of cold coke. Insulin. Insulating glass? How do you make insulating glass? And what is insulating glass for? Hmm. So green, some glass, and some smashed iron. Hmm. So we're gonna need a crusher. How we how we build ourselves a crusher? Let me see. Let me see. Where's the book? Where's the book? Give me the book. Alright, so we have that. So we built those two, um, and a crusher, ooh, steel, yeah, we can't build that yet. We still need lots and lots of steel, look at all this. Each one of these is going to require tons of steel. So yeah, alright, so uh, that's the grandy part right here. <laughs> uh, and I don't really think there's going to be anything else that we can really craft up right now. Because we don't have anything to, um... Oh, look! There's the, there's the freaking earth that I was telling you guys about. You guys see that? I wasn't lying to you. I told you guys. No one believe me. Alright, um... So, uh, let's, let's find out what else we can do. Industrial hemp. Industrial hemp is a remarkable plant. Not only is the seeds useful for creation of... I'm pretty sure it's supposed to say biodiesel. Diodiesel? <laughs> the hemp fibers are also vital to creation of improved windmills, and the seeds can be gathered by breaking tall grass. Did we pick up any? Hemp, 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 hemp. Oh, potato seeds. Potato seeds. Um, hemp, flax seeds. 
Oh man, I wish this mod would update with some more cool stuff because we had all kinds. Of oh, right here. Hemp seeds. Sweet. Well, let's go plop these little bitches down. Take us to our agricraft. Oh, this is not the, our actual agri that's agricraft room. We want the agricraft farms. All right, here, let's make a, let's make a page right now. We're just getting cleaned up, guys. Getting cleaned up. Okay, so agricraft. I agree. Okay. Farm. Yes? Let's see. And we'll plop you down. How about like that? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Alright. So anyways, uh, where are you? Now, here's the, the question of the day. Can we mix? Both of these together. No, we can't. All right, good to know. So we will just plop you guys down like so. And then we'll turn on our sprinklers because that's gonna help us speed things along. And then we'll get this little friend out and then we'll bone meal the shit out of it. <laughs> do I have bone meal on me? I don't, I don't, but I'll just do this for now. I'll go grab up some bone meal right now. Oh, oh, would you look at that. Beautiful. All right, so let's go grab up some bone meal. Um, Cause I think we have tons of bones, all right? Oh, damn, look at that. Yeah, every time we're teleporting, it's eating up all of our food. I think it depends on how far you travel cause I'm traveling uh, pretty far. I guess you could say. All right, give me that. And let's go back to our agricraft farms. Oh man, this is starting to get so much nicer, especially when you have all your shit organized. Oh, makes life so much easier. All right, so let's plop them like so. And I think uh, once they grow, you just knock down the top part. Right? Yeah, see, look at that. And then we get some industrial hemp and then we get more seeds. So we just do that, plop them like so. And like this. Oh yeah. So you're gonna need a lot of these to make actual windmills. Like, um, you know my pretend windmills? We're gonna replace those with these actual immersive engineers. Functional um, chingaderas. Cause how freaking cool would that be? Instead of having like little pretend stuff, these are actually gonna function as um, windmills. And that's how we'll get power to all of this stuff. So I think that will be pretty sniffy. Sniffy, is that a word? <laughs> it is now apparently, because we just came up with that. All right, we're gonna trademark that. All right, cool. And just plop you in here, because you can't, all right. And I think um, that's not actually doing anything. Our little sprinklers. I mean, usually it does speed it up a tiny bit, but eh, whatever. We got plenty of bones. We have our little farm downstairs. Um, I have a mod in here that has the ability to grow mob drops. So that's where we're getting all of our bones from. Instead of having like a farm where we would kill the skeleton and stuff, instead of doing that, we just simply grow them and get them that way. I think that's that's a lot easier. No, we'll have to worry about killing shit, cause <laughs> mod pack was meant to be more fun and exploring, right? Not the word exploring. Yes. All right. So I don't know how much of this stuff I really need. So I'm gonna let this stuff grow itself, um, cause we have we have two and a half, a little over two and a half stacks, which should be a good good amount. Um, and I'll leave this stuff in here for later. In case we need it, uh, we'll have that ready to go. All right, so let's see what we can build with this. Uh, some tough fabric and some hemp rope coil. All right, let me plan out what we're gonna do and then I'll be right back. Well guys, guess what? I just looked at the time. Yep, it's that time guys, <laughs> it's that time. Um, I think we're gonna call it a wrap here guys, but 
If you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you go down there, smash that like button. It lets me know that you guys did enjoy this episode and it gives me all kinds of motivation to keep making these videos for you guys. And hey, if this is the first time you checked out my channel and you did enjoy this uh, little adventuring into immersive engineering video, why don't you uh, head on down and hit that subscribe button. Only way you're gonna find out when we get to build that excavator. <laughs> but guys, that's gonna do for me. I'm Dizzy Aaron and I am out.